Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, yes. hello, uh, Mr. Gregory. Yes. What? Yes, hi, my name is Andrew. My name is Andrew. I'm with Mortgage Review on a recorded line. How are you doing today, sir? I'm quite fine. How are you doing? <laughs> awesome. I'm doing great, sir. Thank you for asking. Well, sir, um, my goal here is to um to help you eliminate debt and, and reduce your monthly expenses. I will uh, eliminate you. <laughs> These folks. This dude called me one time. I was like, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I had to do that one. I be doing some crazy shit to these people, man. They be calling. There's one lady. Do they really get, do they have um, success? I think they do with older people. They got, oh, they got to with somebody because they wouldn't be sitting there doing it for nothing. But it was a. This was clearly a scam. Like you could tell, it was like an IRS, IRS scam. Mm. I got a phone call. It was this lady, extremely thick accent. I'm not sure what country, but it, accent was really thick. So I just started flirting with her. When I tell you, this woman started flirting back. Let's <laughs> do like, this in the so podcast, man. <laughs> we about to have a whole podcast without even. Recording oh yeah, we ain't even, we recording. We just, oh, ain't, we are, we just okay. ain't started yet. Let's start. And then this will be on that. gray at the beginning like we've yeah. been doing. <laughs> What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Goose, man. How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. This is a podcast we do every week, and I would say the things we talk about, but we talk about pretty much everything, but it's coming from the minds and the mouths of two black men, mm-hmm. uh, two husbands, two fathers, mm-hmm. two men married to black women. Yep. You understand where I'm coming from? Damn right. Uh, and, you know, we talk about stuff and it's called Let Us Tell It because mm-hmm. you don't be hearing it from us in this capacity. That's Meaning, true. Meaning, you know, st- seem to be level-headed yeah. just from what you see out there in the world. Mm-hmm. Anyway, a lot of times we kick this show off with, uh, what was the other segments we used to do? I don't know. We kick this off with getting something off our chest because that's important. Mm-hmm. You got to you got to vent. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Pressure bust pipes. You got to let it out. <sighs> you know, it's all about mental health. We're going to talk about a little bit about that. What yeah. you got to get off your chest, Google? I got to get this off my chest. You see this? You see all this bullshit? You see how my hair grow back up here? All yeah. messed up like? I'm getting tired of it, man. What you mean? You getting tired of shaving? Get tired of shaving. I'm getting tired of it growing back and not growing back full like it should. <laughs> it looked why, like why? it got tired of growing <laughs> <laughs> like mine. I'm saying though, why not? What what happens? Any doctors out there in the building, anywhere in the world, why? What happens in this area to where your hair doesn't grow? All of this grow. Like what's the difference from here? And you just go right up here. Why mm. does it stop growing right there? I'm, I'm getting tired. And I'm just sick and tired. It's different of it. proteins and stuff. They it's different. But at the same, okay. But you get, hairy, you get hairy everywhere else, and you lose it all the time. <laughs> That's gravity, man. Hey, just... I'm saying, <laughs> make it convenient for your boy. Okay, if it stops growing here, it should just stop growing everywhere to where I, every morning I can just run a simple razor or do something very minimum to uh to keep my head bald but now it's all this grow back like i was 17 all around the side man this is <laughs> i grow this back i have waves yeah, all around crusty the clown <laughs> <laughs> i get tired of this bush man just if i can't have hair just i just shouldn't just have hair stop growing it's just, doing it in its own time, though. It's nah, just like, man, hey, this. It ain't stopping. It's slowing down. No, nah, this is fool. <laughs> man, I find myself like, oh, look at here. And, oh, That's this, right. This, yeah. This ain't there no more. I'm getting tired of it. That's why I got this hat on, y'all. Y'all know I don't really wear hats like that. One, because my head kind of big. Is it on the last snap? It's on the last snap, <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's, it's all, a small it's head. It's a though. two. It's, all it's a, a small head. Though. Watch this thing engulf your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can't, can't, can't put on my hat yesterday. What? I had on a Cincinnati hat. And when I tell you, it, it didn't even sit on top of his head. It almost floated. That's <laughs> a. Kel, hey. Kel be talking about he, he got, got a big head. head. He hey. got, I got a what? lot of head meat. <laughs> I feel you, Kel, because, man. 
they used to get on your boy in school. You like, you like Goose, you know Goose going to win the race because he got a head start. <laughs> you, Kevin Angel, y'all got some enormous heads. Angel head ain't big, it's her hair. No. If you shaved her hair Goose. off. Goose. This had a just... Whoop. No, it won't. No? People think, no, you got a lot of hair. Angel's head is enormous. <laughs> like back here in the back, yeah. Angel got a bit. All of our kids, babies, as babies, got her head. Everybody like, why they got these big heads? That's Angel's head. Oh, man. You know how you go up? You like, If you funny. were to like touch her scalp, you'd uh-huh. be like, your head is big. <laughs> Angel got, she does have a whole lot of hair, but Angel got yeah. a big head. Dang. Yeah. But- I feel you though, man. Nine times out of ten, if you see me wearing a hat, it's because I de- didn't either shave my face or my head. Usually, if I shave my head, I won't care about my face because it mm. like evens out, mm. so to speak. You know, you look a little cleaner. But yeah, I get tired of shaving my head too. Uh, and you know, especially I use a razor, mm. and you know, it's a the disposable kind. I use a bevel razor, so it's like a mechanical razor. Problem is, is you know, it takes precision instruments to make a razor, and the smallest imperfection, mm. the razor has an imperfection. So every now and then, I'll nick my head a little Oof. bit, and now I got to let that heal. You know, mm. it ain't never bad. I ain't nicked it bad since I first started shaving. Man, when I first started shaving my head, it was one Dang. time I cut it so bad. <laughs> I mean, that gash was. I did one back here. I did one around my forehead. Dang. <laughs> but you know, just experience. That was once I got comfortable and I started. Trying to go too fast, but anyway, I feel you though. Yeah, I think I, somebody answered this. It. It's the it's the hair po- uh, follicles that be dying. But why why does why does that part or why do why blah, 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 why do those hair follicles die versus any other hair follicle? I would think all this area would die first because you're constantly brushing it. You're constantly doing stuff to it wearing hats the of the rim around your head not right here and especially just these like every guy that goes bald them is corners. this corner them like corners. what That's is it about the human body for years i had a comb over right there didn't nobody even know because you know my hair kind of curly like yeah. long curly so i just when i grew it out like my little hitch my dc fade uh i just let it grow longer right there you ain't even know then it got thin enough. I'm like, that man had I can see that. <laughs> come, come them over. corners, them corners, I pull it forward a little bit. Yeah, them corners be. My oh. co- my cousin told me years ago. I was talking about him because he 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 bought it early, like mm. mid twenties. I was like, ah, oh, he looked at my hair like he said, yeah, it's gonna happen yeah, to you too. Gonna... I was like, what you talking about? He said them corners. I said, nah, my corners are strong. He said, trust me, yeah. you going it's over. I was like, whatever. It was like 10, 15 years later. <laughs> That's how I am now. I see somebody trying to hold on. I'm oh, like, play man. boy, just let it go. I, let, I, I told sick. one of my partners that in Atlanta. I was like, boy, stop. stop What's up with them in Atlanta? Stop doing that, man. My, my partner, too. Stop was, doing it. I ain't have the heart to tell him. I, I told think, him. I think he, he, it finally hit him. I'd been knowing this. And he yeah. looked so good with a long hair, yeah. long bald head. Oh yeah, now <laughs> my partner straight up bald head every time, and he's smooth, and he has he has the perfect head for it. But this man will get his line up, his line up be on top of his head, and I'm like, bro, what are you yeah, doing? Man. Why are you doing yourself like that? Listen up, Atlanta fellas, let it go if it need to be let go. This Beijing, I ain't doing it. And oh, the, and the about spray, the dye, Is that the the dye? dye? yeah, man. IG, Instagram, all these internet things. You see so many. The preachers, these preachers be loving to do this. Be literally have a head like mine. Yeah. And will spray all <laughs> this in and act like yeah. it's not on your head. <laughs> we we gonna do it one time. <laughs> we yeah, Spice Adams did yeah. it all on your head. Man. <laughs> Hey, your beard line, yeah. shape your, hey, y'all, are, y'all, <laughs> it it don't look, some of it does look silly because it be jet no, black. No, silly. I mean, talking about jet black, it's dra- drawn on your face. One of my favorite shows, Bel Air. Mm-hmm. Every man on the show, I think that's what they do to their hair. Uh, oh, everybody's beard and hair is like what? It's too dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like black, 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 black. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, y'all, it don't do that. Yeah. 
Everybody make it on look the show? realistic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't care if you do it. Just make it look realistic. It it don't be looking realistic, man. Yeah. Oh. Now people be like, you know, you got the tattoo and then the hair inserts or whatever. I'm like, y'all ain't doing that. Come I on, would man. I would do the real light tattoos. Cause I seen them look good on certain guys. I'm like, oh man, that look straight. That look good. But the other ones, there's some that fade. Like they had a tattoo dark right here, right around mm, the line, yeah. and then it'll fade to the back. That, yeah. And I'm like, come on, man. Anyway, I ain't doing no tattoos. As men, we go through it too. Women, we go through. Yeah. It too. yeah. We go. Through Ours it. is more obvious though. Man, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. We can't hide it like y'all be hiding. Uh. Was that what you wanted to get off your chest too? Or did you uh, have anything? I did have something. I don't remember what it was, but that was good enough. Yeah, good enough too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> since we're talking about, I ain't got no segue. I was trying to make it work. It ain't no segue. Yeah, about is sexy. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy, you talking. I'm talking to the people. About the comments. Head. Okay, bald heads is sexy. When I tell you, when I look at myself after I shave, man, it be, phew, I, yeah. I get turned on myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, since we talking about turning things on, when your uh, lights get turned off, you need to turn on your generator. You understand me? So you can have lights and power in the house and survive forever. I don't know. How long do you think you'll survive with a generator? Um, well, as long as I you guess got gas. Depends. As long as you got gas, you, gonna, you can go days and weeks. But... Uh, well, not just a generator though. This is just real quick, y'all, because me and Goose has been seeing these survival things. You know, out here we gotta worry about earthquakes. East Coast, you gotta worry about ice storms and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I think the worst one, I think we was out of power or the neighborhood because daddy had a generator, hooked it up to the house. The whole house was running like, <laughs> it was the only house on the oh, block that dang. had lights and everything. <laughs> but uh, I think it was out for like a week. Like it was like National Guard came to like Lester, Kentucky to help because it was like ice storm. Dang. Um, but <clears throat> I would say in general, like a three day period, mm -hmm. you should have water, canned food, you know, generator, flashlights, batteries, and stuff. That's just like a general for for three days for your family. Yeah. You know, just until things get up and going. Um, I ain't talking about doomsday prepping or something. I'm talking about literally like a storm. Mm. Like just have uh, <clears throat> like we got at the house. We used to have, you know, the things that take the five gallon water things. You just put it on top, like you got it at the office or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we uh -huh. used to, we used to have one of those yep. uh, because our other house didn't have the water hook up to the refrigerator. Those water dispensers, yeah, the big bowls of water. Yeah, that you like flip five over. gallon. Yep. Yeah. Um. So <clears throat> they got a thing in most grocery stores. After you buy the first one, mm -hmm. you can just turn the jug in, and it's like fifty percent off the next thing of water. Oh, bet. So I. Cause I I drank so much water I had like I got like five or six of these things mm -hmm. so now we got the water hook up and I don't use them but I got five or six uh, water jugs full of water mm -hmm. that ain't been opened and I keep, just keep them stored in the garage and like once a year I just swap them out mm -hmm. get moved new water because water don't go bad but the plastic yeah you know water has an expiration date that's just because of the plastic. Um, but I just swap them out. I think water in a plastic thing, I think it's good as long as it's out of sunlight, good for like five years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I just swap it out every year. But I have no, uh, I don't think we'll ever need it, but it's there just in case we do. Mm -hmm. You know, water gets shut off, water main bus somewhere. They tell you you got to boil water, one of gas ain't running. Now we got, we got this, you know, 5, so, 10, 15, so 20, 25, 30. Yeah, I guess about, yeah, yeah I think they five gallons. So mm -hmm. I think they five gallons. So yeah, we got 30 gallons of water we can use sparingly. Yeah. Uh, and same thing for food, you know, just have some type of, so sometimes people got the backpacks. Mm -hmm. They sell those backpacks with all the stuff that you need, you know. But What are they called? M30s, M, M, MD20, something. I think, you know, uh, I think you're talking about the food packs. The military packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah the I'm food military about. packs. Yeah, 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 they yeah. got those. But the backpacks have a name too. I can't remember oh, what they call. Okay, okay. It's like they usually orange, like a fluorescent, high visibility color, red or orange or something. Mm. But anyway, that's just yeah, uh, yeah. We mentioning that because of the uh, my algorithm always doomsday's coming. MREs, that, yeah, MREs. MREs. Doomsday's coming. Military and, ration or something. Um, uh -huh. We're gonna go without this amount of. 
power yeah. and you been getting the this. Civil War shit. The new like Civil yep. they trying to do this yep. whole Civil War. Yep. Get out of here. Yeah. That is <laughs> like we're gonna be fighting yeah. each other. Yeah. Uh ain't nobody gonna know who to fight. <laughs> that would be so man, you wouldn't know. No. Nah. Especially even, in California. Yeah, even if you were the uh because in any situation like yeah, you have a person on the defense mm -hmm. and a person, the assault person. It's mm -hmm. like, even if you are the assault person, who are you attacking? Everybody? Yeah. How you know you ain't attacking somebody on your cause? Like, yeah. Anyway, regardless of I'm ammunition and weapon-wise, I'm prepared. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm good. I can take out about 40. Then I'm done for. All of, my bullets probably be gone. No, nah, you got to come to the house, man. I got you. I'll be there. What caliber you got? It's a nine mil. Oh yeah, you, you got plenty. Yeah, that because you plenty. your hand, you gave yeah, me you some saw some. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pandemic. Hey man, here take you some of this just in case. <laughs> <laughs> me and Makai be in there. Come on, baby, let's go. Uh, but yeah, have some flashlights, have batteries, um, oil oh, burning candles if if you can. <laughs> I thought it was military rations. Something the military. It's rations. called meals ready to eat. Uh <laughs> Uh, military <laughs> rations. That's the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Shit. Meals ready Military to rations emergency. <laughs> this bad. Military <laughs> rations. Uh, uh, yeah. So look up some generators. They have generators that run off of um, sunlight, solar power too. So you will you can charge them up without um, gas. Those are... Um, those are battery, so those are more of uh, USP, like uh, mm -hmm. universal power source. The generator, however, they don't have, like, they don't really have a efficient electric. People hear electric generator and they automatically think it doesn't use gas. Oh. Which is not the case. Electric generator just means it, it's a generator that t produces electricity. But I've seen the I've seen the electric ones that you talking about that mm. charge with the sound. You ain't gonna get a whole. You ain't gonna get a long time off one. It's not all. a. You ain't gonna get that oomph. No, nah. mm. no. Nah, you gonna get your cell phone power, the mm. the charge or something like that. Okay, okay. Maybe a laptop, <clears throat> but the electric generators. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so like my generator on full load. I mean, it's a pretty big generator. I think it's like a nine thousand kilowatt generator. It can run like nine hours off of. You know, a full tank of gas if you got everything loaded on it. And I can probably run like a couple of refrigerators, mm. um, any TV or computer charging or whatever. Where would you set that up at? It'd just be outside and then you yeah, just outside. run the power line. Always through? outside, yeah. yeah. Can you repeat what you said about the solar panels? Oh, the solar panel, uh, those are like universal power source, like a USP. So those, they can charge and they'll power things or, or charge something, but it won't, uh, like you ain't gonna get something like you would with a gas generator. You ain't gonna get the same kind of power. So you're not about to run <laughs> your refrigerator, microwave, no. um, anything pulling. Yeah, appliances appli ain't, ain't yeah, running yeah. off one of those. Okay, yeah. okay. But you can, your lights will work. Uh, yeah, your lights will work and your TV um, maybe. Possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. possibly. I haven't seen I haven't seen a hookup with one of those that don't use gas to an actual house mm. to where the one that like I have you could actually wire it up to the electrical panel mm. and you know turn it on and it'll run whatever breakers whatever that's connected yeah oh. or turned on at the time. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more research on that because I want to be able to the house that we're in is old so I know we won't we wouldn't even be able to convert that unless they did. Unless they took out that power box and converted it to a new power box, it probably can't even connect to the, the generator. Cause um, those white, you remember we changing that light? Oh yeah. And we thought we cut the power Man, off. Man, that's common. That's common in houses. Cause Ooh. both my uh, first two houses was like that. Yeah. A lot of the houses out here in California were built in the fifties. Yeah. Other than the newer developments, they were built in the fifties. Uh, but what you can do the way we did it at uh, my parents' house is we. Look, talk to a professional before you try any of this. Yeah, but we, we yeah, connect it through the washer and dryer. Uh, oh, okay. We put it through the washer and dryer uh, 
circuit mm-hmm. on the, on the panel mm-hmm. or whatever. We just ran it in there and it backfed through the panel through the rest of the house. Cool. But uh, anyway, but they even have systems where you could take a generator like that and uh, you can uh, have it set up to where if you do lose power from the city, it's like a commercial building. It will switch over to the generator and the generator automatically turn on. Mm. But anyway, that's that. Yeah. Uh, Moving on. No segue. Moving Uh, on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, I was on a plane. Uh... Dang, where were we headed? We were headed somewhere, but I was asleep, and I felt something hit my foot, mm-hmm. and then I didn't pay it no mind, and I felt it hit my foot again, and I'm like, it, it was almost like uh, a ball was going back and forth on the plane, like, oh, boom, yeah, you yeah. know, so I, <clears throat> I paid it no mind. It didn't bother me none. I get off the plane, come to find out a dog got out of its cage, in the plane or his the little pouch Kennel or, or whatever. The, whatever the owner had him in and it was just running rampant through the plane and i was like oh that was that's what was hitting yeah. my leg or whatever um i'm getting tired of people traveling with their pets in the cabins of where where we are they the dogs and the cats should be underneath the plane secure underneath there i'm also saying that because i've experienced this cat piss is yeah, I'm, you is told me. yeah horrifying i mean the smell is is so potent man you should not we should not be having to deal with that so on in on instagram another person had their cat the cat starts throwing up and having diarrhea on the plane Man. Then the owner is getting mad at people, at the at the other passengers, for complaining. Now you know good and well, you in the wrong. Yeah, you was you can't stop. I I don't I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I pay for a seat, and then you come next to me, and your damn dog is lying here. I can't stretch my foot out all the way. Because your dog's sitting right there. And then you're like, oh, don't worry about it. You can put your foot on my dog. No, it's in my way. Yeah. Put that damn animal. It's an animal underneath the plane in its crate. Not up here with me where I'm eating. And, I, man, I got to smell shit anyway on the plane. Because when people go to the bathroom, it don't. That shit's it, it annoying as hell it too. It don't vent out the way it should. No, <laughs> that shit's annoying. I too. ain't never had that. You can smell. You smell it, man. Right? What? I be like, I ain't never smelled. I be worried about that. Like, man, I don't want to smell. I put my thing. I get pissed <laughs> off. I'm like, <sighs> shit. And it's almost as if people travel. They know they traveling. And. They don't go to the restroom before they come. It's always somebody hitting them right when they get on the plane. Mm-hmm. They want to take it on. You've been waiting for an hour at the airport. Use the airport bathroom. Don't come on the plane and blow it up. Because unfortunately, y'all, the air that circulates through the plane is recycled air. Yeah. So the air that is circulating. It's there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> so we smell every. Got damn thing, and then you gonna add your damn cat, and it's piss, and your dog, and it's shit, and fart, and all that other stuff, man. They should, they should literally have a section of the plane, in the back of the plane, and it should be sectioned off for pets, period. Then you should not be in first class, comfort plus. You shouldn't be up here with the people, with this damn dog, or this cat. Make and then have y'all heard cats and the noises they make? Cats be making some wicked ass noises, especially we on when the plane. Fighting. Man, this cat on the plane, he probably in pain, he probably is. air pressure and stuff. Can, uh, that's <laughs> another thing because some of y'all probably gonna be like, Oh, you, you don't like animals, you putting your animal through through all type yeah. of shit on a plane, cooped up, 
babies crying on planes because of the ears popping and yeah. air pressure. You think an animal gonna go through? Damn it! Leave them. Leave the dogs and cats at home. They ain't missing nothing. Shit. Yeah, no, nah, it it pisses me. I don't not only agree, I agree ex- to the extreme and probably more than goose. I can't stand. And the other thing that pisses me off is everybody getting these emotional support animals. Kiss my ass. You have service dogs. That's completely different. Mm. Emotional support animal is an asshole that just decided that they can't do nothing without their dog. Mm. It used to be actually a real thing. People would, you know, need like, you know, you got that was a still service dog. I was going to say people who've mm. been through a traumatic situation is like they were prescribed this trained animal. The only ex- a reason for this animal to exist is because it's been through training and it's there to help this person cope with whatever they're dealing with mm-hmm. at that time. That's a service dog. Emotional support animal, in my opinion, is complete bullshit. Because yep. it can literally be anything. Yeah. It could be a snake, a pony, a goddamn butterfly. Most times it's a dog. Mm-hmm. That's all in everybody else's business with no training whatsoever. Yep. People can't control. They all up in other people's stuff. Look, I love animals. People hear me talk about these turtles or hear me talk about uh, our annoying ass dog. You don't like, an- I love animals. This is how much I love animals. Mm. We got these turtles. Kennedy, see if that place is open and take them damn turtles to drop them off. We got these turtles. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know <laughs> how much I actually like animals. So we got the food. The food has got mealworms, shrimp, like crickets, like dried bugs and all this type of stuff in it, right? Okay. So as I'm feeding them, I'm realizing they don't want the mealworms. They eat the mealworm and spit it out and go find something else. What? So I don't say the hell with you. You gonna eat they what got I put preference. in this cage? Uh huh. I sift through and get the mealworms out and put what I know they're gonna eat in there. Oh, that's nice. Cause I'm like, you already caged up in this little ass yeah. tank, and I'm about to get rid of you. At least you can eat what you want to eat. <laughs> But no, the, the animals on a plane, it, it really pissed me off. Like, we have a friend, and uh, I can't remember what she said, but she's, like, severely allergic to animals. Like, That's dog, the other dogs thing. particularly. She's so bad to where if you have a dog mm-hmm. and you were to come in here, she would have a reaction. Not even with you. Yeah. If you have a dog at the house and that dog dander is on your clothes, mm-hmm. she, like, I don't think her throat closes up. Like, it's really bad. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, what do you do for people like that? That's, it's like just because this idiot came out here and said, oh, I got to travel with my dog because it's my emotional support. Bullshit. Yeah. Where's your papers at? Where, where's the training for this dog that's trying to jump on other people and play with other dogs? Mm-hmm. And then the dog be these little, or whatever you call them little things, chihuahuas and little chia pets pet looking things. <laughs> this dog ain't no emotional yeah. support dog we was in the airport me and josh josh going up to the counter soon as josh get there this little girl come run up fast as hell pass everybody come to the counter i need to go i need to this and josh like it's my turn you can wait after me and i'm like no you can go after me yeah i've been waiting in line and then, this this is my emotional support animal. I mean, she's she's like support you in the back of the line. She's like panicking. I mean, panicking. And y'all know there's always one other person that's just all into animals. Oh, you can come over here and get in my line in front of me, blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, you can go over there. Yeah. You ain't that ain't working with yeah, me. Yeah, what the hell is you cutting in line got to do with emotional support animal? This lady about to miss her flight. That's what's happening because her gate was next to our gate. So as we're getting going through mm. the lines, we're watching her the whole time rushing, 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 rushing. She runs, pick this dog up and runs to her gate. As she gets to her gate and we're strolling up the hours, they're damn near closing the door and she's rushing to get on the plane. Did she use that little emotional support animal to get through the line? That's what it was. But anyway, Look, if I don't see no vest on your dog that says service animal and see your dog acting as such, kiss and don't, don't let yeah. the dog touch me. Don't let it touch my kids. No, Oh, he don't bite. But I kick. Keep it away from me. Y'all, I my I, my foot accidentally stepped on a dog. I would have stood on it. That was in my way. Well, <laughs> it's the owner's fault. Keep that I bullshit away from me. It accidentally happened and I accidentally 
walked in its direction, even though I could have went that, you know, I just chose to go this way. But we were walking. I was leaving a uh, coffee shop, feeling good, and got my coffee. I looked to my left, looked to my right, and I was like, which way should I go? And there was this German Shepherd in the walkway. Yeah, now nah, he might lock to your leg, you know, what's that? <laughs> he was covering the entire walkway, uh -huh. just lying there with his owners, right? And I'm like, why is this dog just in the middle of the walkway? I think I want to walk this way today. <laughs> Sipping my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I didn't see it. <laughs> you didn't see I it? I didn't see it. <laughs> and I accidentally stepped on his tail. Right? <laughs> he went, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Damn dog! Yeah, I, the way, I oh, I'm mean, so sorry. I didn't see your dog laying across the sidewalk where everybody needs to walk. walk. <laughs> Me and Kevin was somewhere, and this lady come up with her little dog, long ass leash. The dog up here sniffing me. Nah. I was like, "Uh, ma'am, get your damn dog. What are you doing?" Yeah, man. I be waiting. In man, I'm your dog touch me. I'm kicking or I'm slapping this <laughs> slap. It's fire at your dog. <laughs> get, get, yeah, back. <laughs> get off of me. You don't, people don't even allow why, why they. Why do you do that? Your dog touched me first. That's what I'm saying. But people don't even allow their kids to be running and touching other right. people, blase, blase. You letting your dog all up on, man, I don't want your dirty dog yeah. sniffing, I, booty licking. I told all the, this I told the lady at work. I was like, uh, I was like, I can't stand for, especially when I had uh, my big dog, my uh, Connie Corso. Uh, and the name is Connie Corso. Mm. It's C A N E C O R S E. Connie Corso, not Kane. It's Italian. It's pronounced Connie. Anytime oh, I say Kane that. Kane Corso, yep. Yeah. Anytime I say that, people are like, why he said it like that? Because that's the right pronunciation. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I have my Connie Corso, and I was like, you know, people try to walk up and pat him or touch him. I tell him, don't, because he will maul you. Yeah. He will bite you. He don't like people, he don't know people. He likes our family and our friends, nobody else. Mm -hmm. She was like, I don't understand. Why Why would you take a dog out that didn't want to be a pet? I said, do you run up and touch people's kids without asking? Yeah. You go out and just pick people's. I mean, no, that's someone's child. I was like, but just a couple minutes ago, you were saying dogs are like your kids. Yeah. But now it's a problem because you can't touch mine. Don't touch my shit. Yeah. People do do that. They get, they like offended. Because you don't want yeah. me to touch your dog. Yeah, I'm like, don't touch him. He bites. Yeah. we we I seen, uh, we was in Pendry. Was it the Pendry Hotel? And these people, lady walked in. Oh, we're going to talk about the 13 pits. Oh, you said pits? Yeah. The pits that killed they own? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Hold up. Go ahead. No. Uh, yeah. We, we gonna, we're going we gonna to talk about that. Oh, Benzino V now. All right. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, people are just, they love touching other people's dogs as if yeah. they've never seen I a dog it. before. It's its really wild to me, and it, it's crazy to me that dogs oh. are allowed in restaurants and common areas as if they're the cleanest animals, they carry disease, and I stand corrected about dogs' mouths being the cleanest. They're not the cleanest. They're actually the dirtiest. Uh, <laughs> this lady allowed dogs to lick her wounds her her she, she ended up letting a dog lick her leg uh because she had a she, scratch or she something she's trying to rambo shit but anyway she ended up having to get her leg amputated because yeah. of the bacteria from the dog's mouth infected her leg so uh, y'all see these nick y'all see these people kissing their dogs in the mouth uh, all that crazy stuff man get Get the hell out of here. All right. No, no, real quick. I was at the airport one time. You know mm -hmm. how they have the drug sniffing dogs that the, you know, the police, they just stand in the airport with. Yep. Here's a Karen. And she run up and the, the uh, officers are all standing facing one direction and she comes up from the side. They didn't see her. So she goes to pet the dog because it was like a lab or something, like a chocolate Security lab. Security dog? Yes. A drug sniffing dog. These are the dudes that had, they, they had like ARs. <laughs> And then they got the dog sitting there, sta sitting beside, or oh, the dog was wagging his tail is what it was because they were talking. Uh, and I think he had just done like a little drill with the dog just to keep his uh, attention. Mm. Like, you know, we here to work with, you know, they got to do certain things with him every so often. So the dog sitting there wagging his tail. This lady walks up 
to touch this dog. When I tell you, these dudes yelled, do not touch the dog, get back. Like they, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Ah man, I wish I was there to see that. <laughs> and look, I saw it. And I'm sitting there, and I, I see it about to happen. I was like, "Is this dog about to maul this woman?" Man, or please about to do. So I'm sitting there watching. They start yelling, whatever. So then, like, dude, shaking his head. And I, I'm smiling. This is me shaking my head, like, yeah. 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 And he looks at me. He was like, "I was like, I don't." This dog is. For all she know, the dog could have killed her. He was like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you don't touch a dog in you. I mean, he he wasn't in like dressed in uniform, but you could see this wasn't a pet. Like this dog was there to serve a purpose. Man, uh, <laughs> there's these. It was like four of them. <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, <Golly>. jump back. <laughs> I wish I was there. I would be like, oh, said, dumb you ass. never touch an officer's dog. He was yelling at him. <laughs> Oh, it did me so much justice. Go ahead, Goose. My bad. I'm coordinating <laughs> something at the house. Uh, that's why I'm in my phone. Oh, okay, no, I picked up. Okay, see, I'm my bad. That's crazy though. Um, uh, yeah, stay away from people, pets, man, yeah. and stop acting like you ain't never seen one. Uh, for example, since we're talking about the pets, mm-hmm. these pits, these pit bulls, y'all want to walk up and touch these random dogs where these pits killed their own owner in the kennel at the house. So um, we don't know why they attacked, but uh, oh, I can tell you why, uh, <laughs> you know, depending on how he was raising them and treating them, you know, yeah. that could cause some things to happen. But um, it's, I, I ain't, if you're treating dogs, if you're treating any animal bad and you have them in a confined space, you have to be extra precautious when you dealing with these animals, especially pit bulls. And if y'all don't know, pit bulls were like bred to bring down bulls, them say like bulls. You have this little dog with jaws of with the jaws of life being <laughs> able to bring down a bull. You as a human have no chance in hell in defending yourself, especially against more than one. Yeah, now it's, uh, I look, I don't know, like you said, I don't know what happened, but the behavior of any dog, depending on how long you have the dog, is fully on the owner. That I can say. Okay. Dogs don't just attack out of nowhere or all of a sudden snap. That's not the behavior of any animal, any dog they always show signs of being aggressive or anything. Mm-hmm. It's like my, like I said, my Connie Corso. At the time, one, at one point I had a pit bull and a Connie Corso. They started beefing one day and wouldn't stop. So I shipped my pit bull back to Kentucky with, uh, with my brother. Mm. But, uh, cause he was the older, I already had him and the mm. Connie Corso was new. So I'm like, at least he got somewhere to go. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but my, uh, yeah, but my Connie Corso, I'm like, he, he the way I trained him, he knew me, he knew my family, and anybody that came over to the house that I introduced him to, he was cool with. Mm. Outside of that, he didn't mess with you. Yeah. Now, only I or the kids or Angel could like mess with his food while he's eating. Mm. But Goose couldn't go over and just put his hand in his dish. Mm. Because, you know, but dog, he, any sign of aggression, I would have checked immediately. Mm. Therefore, he showed no aggression toward us there was never any reason for him to show aggression. Mm-hmm. So, look, I've had pit bulls. I've had three pit bulls. I ain't never had an aggressive issue out of any of them because, like, again, it's all about training. And this dude, he's breeding these dogs, especially pit bulls, are probably one of the most common dogs in America because everybody has them. Mm-hmm. And don't a lot of people don't take care of them, and they get loose and breed with other dogs. <laughs> it's yep. like, that's why you can get them for so cheap. Mm-hmm. Like You can find pit bulls on sale for $20, 30 if you just go online and look, pounds are full of them. Problem is, is people get these dogs and like who said, they're a, pow- they, they a powerful breed and people don't know what to do with them. Mm-hmm. And this dude got 13. For him to go in the kennel, he should be seen as the alpha. He should be not be tested by any of them. Yep. But ain't no telling what situation he was in for them. 13 dogs to be in one kennel. I don't know what size this kennel was. From what I don't I know. S- a kennel could be a fenced in backyard. That's considered a kennel because they all in it. But 
video I saw, he had kennels. Um, they looked maybe four by six, and he had them all lined up in the back, in the backyard. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like they all were open, and the dogs were just everywhere inside. No, just and then they got him in one kennel, because it shows his his girlfriend found him, and mm -hmm. she's like crawling across the gates uh, to get to him or whatever. And the um, the helicopter is filming it or whatever. So you see all the dogs in that one kennel, but the kennel is open to the backyard and all the other kennels are oh. open as well. Uh -huh. So it seemed like all 13 were f roaming around. Yeah. And then in one kennel, something might have jumped off and then they all just came. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like uh, my, uh, Ashley said, they need a lot of exercise. A lot of people think all pit bulls are aggressive. The la mm -hmm. the only reason I ended up with a Connie Corso is because my pit bull would not protect the house. Oh, that's wild. He was not aggressive. Mm -hmm. He was a big ass teddy bear. Yeah. The only time he got into fights is because he would run up to play with another dog, mm -hmm. thinking that the other dog wanted to play. And he was <laughs> he was big and strong. He had an extremely big head. Mm -hmm. He was short, but he, he was wider than he was short, uh, mm -hmm. tall. Okay. Just muscular. He would see another dog and run up and push it all out the way trying to play. The dog would start biting him and stuff. He still thinks the dog's playing. And yeah, eventually yeah. <laughs> he's like, hoo, 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 hoo. Hey, dude, uh. sitting there punching him. He's like, yeah, come on. <laughs> punching him up. Cut. He's like, you don't want to play? Yeah. Oh, you bite me, I'm going to bite you back. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I had to always check in, like make sure the other dog wanted to play. And okay. then, you know, let him play. But we at the house, or Angel's at the house one day, and I kept telling him, like, hey, his name was Xavier. We called him X. Mm. Uh I was like, Xavier X is not, X, is that because that's how you spell Xavier with the, uh, it's with the X. Yeah, or a lot of people, some of, sometimes we call him Xavier, but we call him X. Anyway, I was like, he's not a protective dog. Like, he's just, he'll bark, mm -hmm. he'll look intimidating, but he's not going to do anything. And he's just like, he's fine, we don't need no more protection, blah, blah, blah. So the meter dude comes to read the gas meter one day, mm -hmm. or electric meter, one of the two, I don't know. So he rings the doorbell and Angel just happens to be home. Mm -hmm. So she comes to the door. He was like, yes, man, I just need to uh, go read your meter. You know, he shows credentials. She was like, okay, we have a dog. She was like, I'll go put him up and then let you back. He was like, oh, you mean the white pit bull? He's friendly. I I've been back here with him before. <laughs> Angel calls me at work. She said, your worthless ass dog. Yeah. I was like, what, what happened? She yeah. was like, apparently he's been letting just people to come to the backyard. Yeah. She tells him what happened. I was like, I've been telling you. He's, he's, he's not like, going to attack or protect the house. He's, he's looking for a playmate. He, that, he like that big he, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal always playing. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he got out. One time we had the Santa Ana winds. You know, they came through. It was the first when we first moved in that house, and we mm. didn't know how strong the winds got, so it blew the gate open. Mm. X done got out. Dang. Neighbors done called. Yeah, I saw your dogs running down the street. He hopped around to four different households before Dang. one of the neighbors found him. And brought him in. He just been playing with everybody. Yeah, we show wild. up. He wagging his yeah. head. <laughs> like, I tell you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, man. yeah. Uh, but it's all on the owner. But I saw his parents. I saw how big and like how stout he was gonna get. Ooh. And I personally made sure that he wasn't aggressive. Because yeah. I was like, I don't want something like this getting out of hand. So I, I kept him very. Uh, socialize with people, with other dogs, to make sure that I didn't have no thick, aggressive ass pit bull on my hands, and that was the result. Though I think I went too far. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, he got he was, he was all in his emotional but feelings. He, his mouth like, open, you can yeah. see the pink, like his jaws. Be oh my god, his jaws! Yeah. I'm like, he's trust me when I say he ain't gonna bite you. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna, bite, gonna you. bite you. <laughs> all my experience with pit bulls have been bad, and it's because their owners have yeah. were, were training them to fight or training them yeah. to hurt somebody, and that's the that's one thing I hate about communities with these dogs. Um, the the neighborhood I live in now, I can let. My seven-year-old and my two-year-old walk down the street, mm -hmm. and I ain't got to worry about any type of dog, no type of dog, yeah. running out. Where I'm in Decatur, where I'm from, man, you go down your driveway, 
and you damn near gonna hear some clink, 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 clink. Mm-hmm. Like the dogs Somebody's are just chain done got loose. Yeah, <laughs> man, don't nobody keep their dogs Goose. in the cage, Where man. I grew up. It was nice when my parents moved there before I was born. Then it slowly turned into the hood. Yeah. <laughs> our, our street was still nice, but there was two dogs. I don't know the name of this one dog, mm. but he was tall, kind of like German Shepherd uh, size, but he was black and white. Mm. There was another dog, a big-ass Rottweiler named Mario. <laughs> Um, Why do I know the dog's name? Because all kids knew the dog's name. Because this terrifying dog would just be roaming the city. Like, I'll be walking to to school in the morning. Mm. 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. Bus came at 7.05. So I'm walking down the street at 6.45. Yeah. See this big-ass 200-pound Rottweiler staring at me. I'm like, but that was where we grew up. Mm. You just see random. (laughs) My neighbor had another Rottweiler and a Doberman. See this? I know this Doberman could have got over the fence at any time. I mean, he's hitting the fence hard. The yeah. Rottweiler was chained up because they yeah. knew he would kill somebody. The Doberman just out running, but that was where we grew up. Yeah. And now the whole time I'm walking, now I got to make sure I can. There's a tree or a car or something. Yeah. I can get out just to get away from these crazy ass right. animals. I done jumped up on so many cars. I mean, because riding the bus to school, riding the martyr bus to work. Just walking through the neighborhood, you man, it's going to happen. Not yeah. not when, not if. It's when it's going. It's yeah. going to happen. That's, that's part of growing up, either hood or hood adjacent. You yeah. gonna run from some dog. My, but why are people letting this big ass Rottweiler run the I run, don't run know. the neighborhood? It, and then have no emotion about it. They're not sorry. No. They're just like, Debo, come on back over here. Yeah, and you not, like, hey man, oh he ain't gonna do nothing to you. Man, he just ate. A whole deer down the street. <laughs> he will do something. Goose, when I tell you, like, this is a big ass neighborhood. It's like crazy. Picture where y'all live at, like, all of that residential area is one neighborhood. That's mm-hmm. how, I mean, it's huge over there, right? Yeah. So I remember when I was a kid, again, this that same dog was in our front yard and came up to the porch. So I, like, yell, try to run him off. He approaches the door. So then daddy, he comes in from the backyard. Oh, hell no. So, of course, daddy go get one of his guns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the time daddy came, because I, I go on to the kitchen like, this yeah. got to go down. <laughs> and I guess the dog was gone by the time daddy, because daddy would have just killed the dog, yep. threw him in the dumpster. Damn like, right. <laughs> I would do the same But thing. I'm like, yeah, that's the asshole like, I got to worry about walking to school. Like, <laughs> Anyway. Terrifying. My dad at 70 years old, y'all, was walking. He gets home. The neighbor's dog somehow got out. And luckily, my dad had his walking stick, the goddamn, uh, what you call it, Lord of the Rings staff. Oh, the staff. <laughs> you shout <Right>. not. <laughs> that dog <laughs> lunged at my pop, my pop 70. He done knocked one of his teeth out. Yeah. There's no point. There's no reason for a 70-year-old man to be defending himself against a dog in his own, like, yeah. At this point, man, life should just be you, – you shouldn't be worried about no damn dog attacking you. Nah. Like, put your dogs up and treat your dogs right to where they're not attacking Train people that ass. aren't in your house or on your land. Yeah, now, it, Supreme, if he got out, if anybody came into the yard, he would have probably bit him. Yeah, but which he makes sense. But he wouldn't leave the yard if he got out because yeah. he did get out. and he would, he would go sit on the front porch. Makes or sense. he'd walk around in the front yard, but he won't cross the street. He wouldn't do none of that. He would just stay in the yard. X, he going to roam and come back. Yeah. He going to roam, make some friends, probably have a kid or two, come back to the yeah. <laughs> X was the... <laughs> yeah, hey, y'all, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get busy. All right, moving on. Speaking yeah, of keep... emotional support animals. <laughs> Go ahead. And mental health. Uh, what was this, about three days? I don't know how many days ago. It was about two days, two, two three two, days ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, ben Zeno, the rapper, producer, or whatever else he does, he was on Drunk Champs, another podcast, and breaking down crying. This man was sobbing. You said drunk just to be funny. Huh? It's Drink Champs, right? Drunk Champs, Drink Champs? I don't know. Oh. I don't, I don't know. know drink Champs, either. Drunk Champs. I'm sure yeah. y'all know the podcast. It's, it's a very popular. It's, uh, yeah. Nor- Nori. It's his uh, podcast. Mm-hmm. It's a podcast, right? Yep. Okay. Um, anyway, he's on there. He breaks down. He's crying. I guess they asked him about Eminem or something, and he's breaking down crying. He was like, I ain't. He just put out a diss song about Eminem, <laughs> but 
But they've been dissing. They've been going at each other for like twenty years now. Uh, he's just actually long. It's longer than that. He said twenty years. It's been longer than that, ain't it? It is been longer than that. Yeah. Uh, and then his daughter is also uh, an artist, and he's breaking down talking about he ain't got nothing against Eminem. He's just tired of, you know, just all the negativity and you know everybody killing each other and kids being negative and the you know everybody. And I'm sure in the comments people was laughing at him, but it was hard to watch. He was clearly extremely drunk, heavily intoxicated. Tank is saying he was crying. This guy was weak, he's, he's sobbing. sobbing. Yes. Like he's, snot. <laughs> snot in tears. Like blow your nose cry. He wasn't just like <laughs> sniffling. Like ugly cry. Yes. <sighs> you know, you're crying and you ain't saying nothing, just noise coming out. You think somebody in his family passed Drink away. Drink Yeah, it was that bad. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> Look, outside of him being drunk, that's like clearly because we see like him, you know, the, the, the diss songs going back and forth. Mm. Usually, you know, hip hop beef don't be lasting that nah. long. Uh. Like two rappers will go at each other and by next summer they'll have a song together. They'll mm. squash it. Um, that's why, you know, when Biggie and Pac got killed, that's why the East and West got together because everybody was like, uh, hold on, this done. Yeah, East Coast didn't have nothing to do with that, and West Coast didn't have nothing. Let's just squash all this. That's mm -hmm. when it went too far because only two rappers was beefing, even though it was madly East Coast, West Coast. Anyway, for him, you got, I mean, he's going against somebody that's considered one of the best. True. Which, you know, a lot of beef is be popularity. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter what he did or said, he, there ain't nobody going to go against him for him. Yeah. But he been dealing with this for like he said twenty years, but it's been a lot longer than that, uh, and it done took a toll on him. Yeah, he's and this ain't the toll didn't just happen. Mm -hmm. There's no telling how long he's been dealing with this whole. I'm tired of doing this. I don't want to do this no more. I'm tired yep. of hearing about it. Uh, it's it, it was a sad thing to see for real. Yeah, because the the internet will let people. The internet is damn near forever. So when you think it's over, it ain't over. And right. people will and that, attack you. And he ain't gonna never live this damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you best believe there's some memes about to come out about him crying look, the way he was crying like that. Uh, Lady 143 MB, look, we. What'd she say? <laughs> I ain't gonna say it, okay. just read the comments. How, the, how that Michael <laughs> Jordan meme of Michael Jordan crying, <laughs> they about to have him all over the place. But yeah, uh, <laughs> he, and, he, and and to be honest, Benzino's argument is a legit argument because there's records of Eminem saying the N word, calling black women oh, yeah. this, black women that. I mean, I've been, I've been knowing dragging that. the black community through the dirt, and now you have the audacity to say that he's one of the best rappers, hip hop rappers is kind of crazy. So that's what he, that's his argument, which is a good argument. But like you said, certain loyal fans ain't, you yeah, can do I anything. Like Beyonce could say anything and they would attack you about whatever she says. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it, the way he broke down though was wild. Yeah, I'm sure the alcohol helped. The alcohol had to but, help. But yeah, it's a, he ain't no telling how long he been dealing with that. Like yeah. he probably people close to him, he done said something. But like somebody said in the comments just now, it's like yeah, uh, negative negative energy is toxic. Mm -hmm. It ain't just like toxic. Like oh yeah, you toxic. Like literally, it's toxic to your health. That's why like the all these comedians coming at each other. Uh, there's always something. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what social media has turned into, a, just a bunch of negativity. And, you know, a lot of times we don't even talk about it out here because, you know, it, I'll bring it up to Goose like, man, you hear about that? I'm like, yeah, I'm sitting there bringing, showing Goose the topic. Then I'm like, man, I don't even want to talk about it, though. Because like, <laughs> it just be so much negativity, but that's what people be wanting. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about it out here. We ain't going that deep into it. But see, that's 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 what drives – Everything really, the drama and the uh, negativity. As long as you speaking positive about stuff, ain't nobody trying to hear you say yeah. nothing Th about that be, shit. And these interviewers, they be digging for something negative. Club Shay Shay. Look, he can say 
He can say what he want. He know. Yeah. He don't. Yeah. He don't run from the negativity. <laughs> Cause that's where it's at. That's even if the guy, even if he didn't ask a negative question, he gonna keep it going. Oh yeah. So wh- what happened? Then? Yeah. <laughs> you your chin there, boy. Chin your boy. Oh, uh, what's what's what everybody you... ain't. I don't think everybody like lately. You know, post Cat Williams have done anything uh, something negative, but it was definitely him and Monique. And uh. I don't, well, no, I wasn't negative. Country Wayne had things to get off his chest, but it wasn't. I don't think it was that bad. I didn't watch the whole interview. I just heard a couple things. He's like you said. If he if it's there, he's gonna let it ride. Whether he brought yeah. it up or not, he ain't gonna shut anything down. He gonna let you speak your mind. He gonna blow damn right. What you don't like Tank? Where that come from? Yeah, what, 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 what you at? Where that you, come what from? You mean? Man, tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that negativity is uh Yeah. That 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 feeds everything. We had a question on here about um since we've been in oh, yeah. the social media lifestyle. That was from my boy uh Chris. The inter- Chris aka Mr. Talent. Mr. Talent, yeah. Yes, yeah, Drink Champs. I see that name. <laughs> uh he asked go ahead, Goose. You see the question? Nah. Okay. Well, the question I'm I'm a paraphrase. I I think I can remember what he asked. Uh, since you all have been in this space, social media space, how are you mentally, and how you know how are you mentally since you've mm-hmm. been in this space? And my answer to that is, um, I've I think I've uh, almost grew calluses to to the fact that people crazy, the yeah. world is crazy, and you can't, as much as you want to respond and 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 be liked by everybody, everybody ain't gonna like you. And people are gonna hit you low every time. They mm-hmm. gonna, whatever you put out there, they gonna tear you up. So whether it's from me, uh, doing videos with my kids, Mm -hmm. innocent videos that my baby want to do. Oh, look at him exploiting his kids. Oh, (laughs) oh, 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 this. Bro, I'm doing a word a week with my daughter so she can learn vocabulary words, so I can learn vocabulary words. If y'all watch this podcast, my vocabulary ain't that high. I be trying to get my shit up high, (laughs) higher. So I do and stuff. And that shows a lot of strength. Yeah. To, show, to be vulnerable in that aspect. It's the calluses that done yeah. grown. I could care less about what anybody say about your boy. But if you ain't built like that, um, also growing up, you just got, you get joned every day because your head big and your mm, hair. was chubby. Yeah. And I was chubby. <laughs> Shit. I was a walking callus by the time I got out of high school. You couldn't tell me nothing. Yeah. And, and Everybody in my school was just funny, comedic. Everybody just, was hilarious. Everybody man. was just funny, and they could join on you about anything. You could have polo down. They they would find something <laughs> to join on you about. I seen a meme the other day. It said, black people talk about anything. Yeah. Like, look at him with an umbrella and yeah. start bust out laughing. <laughs> Just the way you say it, it'll be <laughs> funny. Be funny. Yeah. And if it's about you, it's just like, man, everybody laughing yeah. at you. It's like, but why is that funny? It, and they laughing at it's me. It's just funny. <laughs> everybody talking about, uh, call Greg, because they yeah. had issues getting in the back room. Yeah. It's just the way they say it. It's funny. Right. And catch it. And that's just how it is. But the that's how you have to look at, that. that's good. That's how you got to look at the internet, man. We It's just... Don't take this shit serious um, because it will mess you up. So how I mentally, how how have I grown mentally is stuff roll off my shoulders. I don't, yeah. I don't let it bother me until it gets to that, those real sensitive situations where people be taking people's lives and people, uh, you see these young kids, like Benzino was saying, mm-hmm. these teenagers, yeah. Killing other teenagers. Just recently, two kids were beaten by their classmates in different areas. That's crazy. And they died. Like, what, that's man? the type of stuff yeah. that bothers me. 
But as far as um, uh, comments, I'm a catalyst, and it's helping me express myself and and uh, helping me to learn how to speak better openly, you know, public speaking or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, just real quick, he came back. He said, uh, I asked because uh, the blue collar work, y'all from the social media life, it can take a heavy toll on you ment- on your mental. Just wanted to check in with y'all to make sure y'all were good. Greatly appreciate that. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> but bouncing off that same thing, is, um, it's crazy that we used to talk about this and this question was asked. Yesterday, Angel was saying, I came in, we filmed Ball of the Beautiful, and Angel, they was telling me about somebody was in the watching the Here's the Thing podcast and said, there go Angel being a pick-me or something off something that she said. Mm. And, of course, Angel goes, like, tears in on the person, like, what what, what are you saying or whatever? So mm. they explained. I was like, what did you say and what did they think you said? So after they explained it, I was like, okay, so that's not what you were saying. But even if you did say that, how in, in any way does that make you a pick-me? Mm. And then I was just sitting there talking about that, and I told Angel, I said, I'm actually shocked that that got to you. Yep. But she was just like, yeah, usually I, I ignore stuff, but that one got to me. And then as we were sitting there talking, I was like, stuff does build up. Mm-hmm. It builds up, and it's just like, all right, one of y'all going to be that small stone yep. <laughs> that's that removed at the bottom, and now I got to respond to you. Yep. Uh, but people will literally say anything just to try to get under your skin. Yeah. And I realized that, like you said, just growing up, where I'm from, man, people – People that don't know you tear you down. Mm-hmm. I remember just hearing stuff that people were saying about me at different high schools, people that I didn't even know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, God dang, what? let alone the people that do know you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you build these uh, calloused over time. And it's like last week, I don't know, you know me and Angel, we do everybody loves these damn challenges. Oh, yeah. And a lot of y'all be like, you know, if Marcus know he loves it. It's like, actually, I, I hate them challenges. <laughs> but I understand that it's good for views. I understand that it's good. You know, like people like seeing it. They like seeing me irritated at Angel. Because mm. that literally be our life. Like Angel is this butterfly, this puppy running around doing stuff. And I'm just like, just just give me some peace. Yeah. But it's it's also funny. I It's funny and entertaining for me just to be a part of it and be annoyed if I am annoyed. But that's part of the character I play. When are we doing the challenge? That's just part of it. Anyway, somebody commented, said something about, she said uh, something about, I can't, I hate these videos, or he annoys me in these videos. It's clear that he hates his wife and kids. Yeah. What? So I do, normally, I don't even delete them. I just, I scroll past, I pay no attention. But today I had a little bit of time. But I said, clearly, you're new here. Mm-hmm. You're watching me live my best life. Don't bring your misery over here. Yeah. The next common word that people love using you're just projecting <laughs> that's like that's like the kid thing at this point the little kid back and use a kid i'm rubber you're glue this yeah. is like because <laughs> because you, you came over here being negative because i call you miserable now i'm projecting yeah because i called you miserable i'm just like i didn't even bother responding to that i just deleted the comment and blocked her from my and angel's account <laughs> like mm. you ain't never got to worry about seeing any of our stuff again unless it's posted on something else uh, but that's what I really like. People, they're crazy. They're negative. They just do stuff. And like you said, I grew up with this. These people, your own friends will talk about you, just yeah. rag on you just for fun. Mm-hmm. The people that don't like you will just do or say anything to get under your skin. Yeah. Just like I, I experienced that one time I went home to visit after I moved to California. I heard somebody from across the parking lot. It was, I don't know who they were. It was dark. I just heard two voices out in the distance. They yelled out, Tank, you ain't shit. Mm. And I'm walking. I thought it was somebody messing with me. I'm like, who is that over? I'm smiling. I'm walking. I'm like, what? Then they hurry up and get in the car and pull off. I'm like, who the hell was that? <laughs> so I, clearly, it was not, if I do know him, I barely know him. But I'm like, what was the point? Like, <laughs> what? And I remember laughing about it. I think I, I called like a couple people. Like, y'all, guess what just happened? Yeah. This is before social media. I wasn't mm. even on social media yet. Mm. So now I couldn't imagine... But I give it. I try my best to give that stuff no energy. But if you surround yourself by it on purpose, that neg- like you said, that negative energy, negative energy is toxic. Mm. You constantly seeing it. If you're paying attention to it, letting it get to you, it can take a toll on you. I'm not about to let it do that to me. That's why mm. I try to keep my distance as much as I can from it. I also uh, to old boy's uh, comment about you know coming from the blue collar. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit was still funny to me. What's that? You tank oh. 
I was like, what? what? I started laughing. I said, oh, who is it? Thank you. Because that's something your boy does to you. It is. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm laughing. I'm looking at it. Cool it. I'm like, it just me play ball. And I was still laughing about it. It was hilarious. Yeah. That, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> to, to old boy comment, you know, being a blue collar worker, right? And uh, going to work, shoot, five shoot even earlier sometimes three yeah, four in the morning be at work yeah. um uh five if there's a gas leak and we had to dig up a pipe in three eight three a.m we out there digging up a gas leak or um five a.m in the morning underneath somebody's house because they ac or they heating ain't working or you up in the attic trying to you, you just doing this strenuous um, physical work, right? And you do it for years, mm-hmm. and then you step out of that, and you come into this environment. You're almost um, immune to the 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 comments and the um, the hatred that come your way because, bro, do you not know where I came from? You think I'm gonna let you bother me? Yeah. To the point where I got to go crawl up underneath a house again or yeah. get up at 3 a.m. again, risking my life to get some gas back on. Or Working be, with high power at the risk that's of what getting I'm saying. blown up. Blown up. <laughs> like for real. People have died underneath people's houses from cell phones going off and the gas leak. And that ignites mm-hmm. the uh, the gas. Working uh, on live electrical panels and shit. Working on roofs. Being up in people attics, it's 110 outside. You yeah, in an yeah. attic in a 140 sauna. Yeah, working <laughs> on a, a heat in the on a HVAC unit, trying to make somebody else comfortable. Is nah, it man. It be cold as hell when you come out of the attic hey, too. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't. Like, God dang, it's cold down here. It's actually I'm, like 82 in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I know. I've seen. I've experienced the other side. So coming over here is like it's, it's here is more mental strain because you be tired mentally. Um, but nah, I, I don't comments. People comment crazy stuff like that. It doesn't oh, bother yeah. me. Nah. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Bless you. Being in a position now to where you have to create your income and always be on your your brain is always moving yeah. because there's not a guarantee of a paycheck coming Nothing. every two weeks. Yeah. That is that's, that does take a toll. Oh hell yeah. yeah. Because like I said, on that other side, it's guaranteed. You do your work, you get paid. You do your work, you get paid. On this side, you can put up content for three years and never see a dime from it at all. So we going on two years. Whew. Hey, Goose, we gonna start doing interviews again. Oh, that's fine. That's where me. that's 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 where the growth is. Oh, well, that's fine. Me, yeah. Whatever we can do to grow, I'm down uh, with it. Yeah. yeah, but no, that's uh, that the no, Chris. What we will say is that does that does take a toll is um, the unstable nature of this mm-hmm. this uh, arena versus where we came from. That can take a toll. Uh, but yeah, don't let it get to you. Yeah. Try not to anyway. Yeah, uh, I don't, I, I don't uh, promote or subscribe to this guy Charleston White, but sometimes he be saying some some things. He be saying some nuggets, and I saw this Instagram uh, reel of him, and this guy was saying, "Man, if I come up to you and I say f your mama, f your nick, f your family, or f where you from, you telling me you ain't about to." shoot me or fight me or come at me crazy and oh, charleston man. white man as much as i don't like what he be saying he was like i'm a grown man with a family and kids i'm getting paid ten thousand a week and you think i'm about to throw all that away because you you said some words words you said some words this circles back around to benzino we are 
killing and fighting each other over words. And we all know, we all know, let somebody say your mama or especially in school, drawn on about your mom, man, you'll go, yeah, go, man, you'll take, you'll leave, you'll crash out completely about somebody saying something about your mama. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. With, they didn't even have to say nothing. They no. can just say your mom. Yeah. <laughs> in any other community, you can say that to them, and it's it was like what? Yeah, like Fletcher, I don't understand why. Like, why are you, you talking about my mom? Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> they, man, we, it, it, back to Bazzino. I'm confused, and why? Well, I'm not confused. The way we've been influenced and 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 groomed to be the way we are is crazy, man. Yeah. I, I look. I called my boy the other day. Uh, <laughs> I think I called him last week after my therapy session. One of my boys, we just chit chatting and everything. And uh, he, I was like, I was just explaining to him how, especially like you said, you see a lot of negativity. I'm in a season of forgiveness. Like I don't care what nobody did or said. Yeah. I'm like, I done seen enough people leave away from this earth mm. that you. I done been through enough to where I'm like, I don't let that small stuff bother me at all. Yep, at all. I got people I done rode off. They gonna stay rode off. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't holding nothing against them. I'm just like, mm -hmm. believe you right there where you at. It's I, all love for me. Yes, what he said. Told he said, I smile. He said, he said he as a supervisor came to us, somebody above him had to write him up because it was like some forms that he didn't didn't uh, fill out. He was just like, and the dude was like, all like, I'm really sorry. I gotta gotta write you up for this, man. I can't. He's, he's like, it's fine. Yeah. Like, I'm fine. He was like, I'm smiling. He said, because I did not care. I can fix this. Yeah. I'm smiling about this. I'm good. He mm -hmm. was like, the dude was all like, you know, you know, you do good work. You know, you do. You, you're great. He was like, it's okay. He said, here, I'll sign it. You want me to say it's fine? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, mentally, you in a completely different place. Yeah. You ain't there no more. And I, yeah, I'm not I'm not there no more. Now, if I was, you know, mid-30s or something, I was a different dude. But not now. I done told you, I done turned 40. And I don't. Hey, unless it's Micaiah, it's probably Micaiah. Micaiah probably the only one right now to get up under my skin. <laughs> That's my two year old, if y'all didn't know. But anything else, I'm, I'm just ah, whatever, yeah. and and I'm letting it be because I'll be damned if you or if I leave this earth because you cut me off in the street or if you bumped me in a restaurant or if you jumped me in a line because y'all know how i be that dude at the starbucks mm -hmm. was too close to me and i threw his no I, I will step to the side sir you can go i'll wait after you because you ain't about to end my life over no dumb shit i got to die like leonidas and three homer i'm fighting for everything you gonna know dude, that nigga goose went out yeah, balls of flame. Yeah, I've been there for a that. minute. I've I've avoided so many physical altercations because I'm like, yeah, this look, yeah, this is not gonna be a okay. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Now, by no means <laughs> is this easy for me, y'all. Oh, it's, it's difficult. It's yeah. So if I see a comment about Angela the kid, that's when I, yeah, I ain't gonna be like nah. you know, be blessed <laughs> and be blocked. Nah, I'm gonna be like, first of all, you, your <laughs> granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, when it's me, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, Goose, let's go and wrap it up, man. Yeah, man. Y'all can they find you? Avoid all that bullshit. Bazino, I'm sorry you had to cry like that, but man, I feel your pain, brother. Okay. Uh, you can find me on IG, G O O L Z B Y, uh, Building with Goose on YouTube, and you can buy my uh, merch at underreptmerch.com. Um, everybody I just read up, so it's going to be on tour with me as well. So, yeah. And join the Patreon. That description will, I mean, that link will be in the description Patreon. below. Patreon.com slash I'm not a lawyer, but. Thank you. Highly appreciate that. Ain't no problem, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus A. on the Grand, Facebook at Marcus A. on the Book, TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can find my beard and body butter called Man Shit, and you can go to M A N S H Y T. Dot com check that out and if you're listening you can watch this on uh, tanksley tv on youtube mm -hmm. let us tell a podcast and if you're watching you can listen to this across all podcast streaming platforms and uh yeah 
I think that's it. That Y'all is it. on our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash that chick angel. Um, and if you haven't voted, make sure you vote for this is going to cause an argument for the NAACP Image Awards. I think by the time this goes live on Friday, that's is that the last day? I thought you had a couple of weeks. Oh, no, for the uh, the social media one is a couple of weeks. Anyway, oh. uh, yeah, uh, NAACP Image Awards, NAACP dot, is it? Whatever you know how to how to find it. Google it and just go to the <laughs> nominees and go to is go to podcast and then go to this is gonna cause an argument for outstanding uh, self help and lifestyle podcast and do it from every email account that you have and your coworkers and your families because you can only vote for that one time but you can vote for it multiple times on a you know different email address anyway fam mm-hmm. know y'all got some of y'all and vote for angel every S- single day some of y'all pets got email address use those too i ain't even think about that mm-hmm. i got dead pets i can get email addresses for you can you and uh make mind. sure you vote for angel uh outstanding social media influencer Every single day from every email from all those peoples and your pets. And Give kids. me a reader. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fam. We'll holler at y'all. <laughs>